I'm continuing with my sunflower series because they make me happy and they are also known as happy flowers. So what I'm going to do today is another sunflower, but I'm going to have some variations in the color as well as the techniques. So let's get started. I'm going to do my white background. And I'm going to put some blue in it again. Instead of spreading it around with my hand as I did last time, I'm going to swipe it. Get a nice coverage just with a swipe and that way we'll get some cells right away with these two colors in here. We'll get a nice even coat for the sunflower to sit on. I'm going to stay kind of in a directional. I like the way that looks. I don't want this to be too bold. I just want it to be a nice backdrop for the sunflower. And that's good. Call that good. Now here we go with the center. I'm going to start with black. This is a cadmium red, but I dulled it down a little bit with black before I poured it because it was a little too bright. You can't really tell by looking at it, but if you want to dull a color down or quiet a color down, you could just add a touch of black. And then I'm going with the gold. Now for this center, I'm instead of blowing on it like I did last time, I'm going to use my small palette knife and I'm going to spread it around into the sunflower circle center. Just going to push it until I get it about the size I want. Just play with these edges. It's not a perfect circle but you see some nice cells coming up. The black looks nice. The red is nice, but it's not overwhelming. And then you can also see gold. So there's my center. That went very quickly. Now I'm going to create a dirty pour of my two different yellows. And I'm going to put them in at the same time. And this is going to be the color of my petals. I don't normally stir a dirty pour, but I want both of these colors to come out at the same time, so I'm doing a really minor amount of stirring. See how careful I was? I just want to mix it. It's, it's not really stirring, it's just a, a little bit of a mix. Now I'm going to go around with the petals, the yellow petals. I'm going to take my small palette knife again and I'm going to drag these out into a petal shape, this yellow color here. See, I'm moving quickly. You can play in this as long as you want, but it's a pretty easy process. I'm just making them fat at the bottom and then come to a point. Make them kind of free form. You don't want them perfect. Just having fun playing in the paint. You can see some cells coming up. And there's the last one. I'm going to make that drip over the edge so I have a nice point going over the edge. So that's pretty much all there is to making those petals. Now what I'm going to do is come back with my black and my candy apple stick. I use this to make little, little details, little outlines, and it really makes things stand out. I'm being very almost sloppy with what I'm doing here. I want it to be very spontaneous looking. 
kind of a swirly move just keeping it fun looking these sticks work better than a brush to me because the brush just looks too contrived I just like I just like these little sticks but you can see the black outline helps things stand out kind of boldens it there they go now to create a little more dimension I'm going to look for some areas where there's more space in between the petals and I'm going to add a, a behind layer of petals. I did this last time too and I really liked it. This is a much smaller amount of paint though. Come back with my knife, pull it out into a smaller version of what I did before. See, we're already creating a, a back layer here. It, it, it makes the flower look more full. Gives it some weight. I think I'll do another one. I like what, what's happening here. Doesn't take much. I mean, you have time to, to study this. I'm moving along. But you have time to decide if you want to do this because this is very slow drying. You have 20 minutes, a half an hour maybe even, to decide if you want to do more. So I'm going to take a look at it. I like the, the fullness of, of this second layer. I'm going to do another one right here. Again, it's really a small amount of paint because you're dragging it into place with your tool. And they're going to be smaller than the front layer. I'm going to call that good. So there in just a few minutes is a sunflower. And if you're new to pouring, I hope you'll see my, check out my other videos. I have a lot of flower videos. In fact, I have a, I'm working on a whole series of flower videos. And I have a supply list below. And I, I am now an Amazon influencer, which means I have my own page on Amazon that lists, I have listed all my supplies. It will always be current and it will always be updated. So I'm really excited about being an Amazon influencer. It's for those who have large YouTube followings. So thanks to you guys, I'm, uh, I'm an Amazon influencer. And... Check out my supply list. I hope you'll like this video. Subscribe. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. And I also have a Patreon page if you want to join me over there. There's a lot more content over there. Videos that aren't here. Written content. Join me on Patreon. And I hope you'll give the sunflower a try. Any colors you want. These are some ideas that I'm giving you. So I hope you give it a try. Thanks. We'll see you next time.